That must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Said. Maybe I should disguise myself. If you be mortal, I will not speak it. I am waiting for the spirit. They come. They come. You may not speak to Eivor, but perhaps you will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Hailwin said that the wicker men must announce more fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. 
You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from Death's realm. In such fashion I speak to Druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kuth Lodrin? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuth Lodrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motron awaits me at the stones nearby. See motor in the head. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodrin, name of Gwilim. I was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Ludren is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tefter's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest, and all of Gloucestershire, feels untamed. I feel as if I have ridden my horse through a door to... This forest, and all of Gloucestershire, feels untamed. I feel as if I have ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye. There is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes.
Kuth Ludrin, the Thieves' Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Best not to draw attention here. Stupid, was you?
away from me! Get on the other side. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit, sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You are imbeciles. Look, we wasn't going to kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. To... 
Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up! Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow! Ah, move, fool! Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. The slaughter been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Must be careful now. He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his god will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. The Longhouse is a good place to start.
Festivities haven't started yet. There's still time to search for Kunan. Where are you, Kunan? He isn't here. Someone else may have seen him. Bridget is here. Oh. Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Hwalid. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, but this become of Tevder. Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it and all, I lay it got. It's you again! The Sowen Butcher! The Sowen Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um. Okay, so reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. You're lost, butcher. It's Avon. <laughs> Plead or Tevder and Govlim. My priority speed depends on Rachib. I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You are certainly an old. Mother says. I should find Kuna. Why is that woman? Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. Must find her. <laughs> I'm looking for Gloucester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some ale on the loose in this town. <laughs> Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the wicker man. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the Marlins! Oh, goodness! 
you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I'm looking for Kunin. Right! Right, yes. He's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! Geva's waiting for his delivery to the church. That's my way in. <laughs> Have a look, Sue. Where's Coonan? Mary Lude! Come dance with me! Coonan? Oh, for you, love? I could be. Right, gotta keep my... Ah, the crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! Hey, <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Avar. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Mother. Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name and drugging me is an offense I kill for. I'm to be dead within the Wicker Man by Samhain's end. I beg you, let me die for my people. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowichester Shire. One that Tevder would stamp out. 
This is where you failed, Kunin. Tefter is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tefter? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. Survey the area, Sudan. This place is heavily guarded. Show me what lies ahead.
Stretch your wings, Surin. Hey! No one will bury you. Be in peace! Chanting. It's faint. But I recognize Morgan's voice. to be careful here. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madrun, stay your blade, or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. 
It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. <sighs> Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The High Priestess Modron tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. Kunan and Modron conspired to bring about your end. Now, both lie dead by my hand. Such a waste of life. The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modron had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwyneth is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue, but wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to.
Gunnar, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be your shared saga. But it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes. Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people, so that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place, and to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Tradition dictates the burning be overseen by the High Priestess. Modron is missed here. My hand has hindered this blow twice, then. Then I will oversee, as is my right, my blood. I took Mothran from you. You have every right to feud with my line. One you old enough to hold a sword. Mother saw your fate. The future will punish you greater than I ever could. Punishment or not, you will go into the future as Gloucestershire's ally. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Eivor, the honor is your yes. Praise the harvest king! Bloody pagans! Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. <laughs> 